Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice is off tonight. Growing tributes to a security guard who dedicated his life to work and family. He was working overtime today when he came face to face with a veteran who turned into a killer. And now four children are without their father. We have team coverage of this still breaking story. Let's begin with CBS 2's Tony Aiello. He is live at the scene in Soho. Tony. Christine, a gunman who apparently harbored a grudge against the federal government, opened fire, killing a security officer and sparking a massive police response to this federal office building here at the corner of Varick and West Houston. A federal security officer who witnessed the killing of a colleague was escorted past the crime scene after a shocking end to a summer work week at 201 Varick Street. It happened just inside this entrance on West Houston. The NYPD says 68-year-old Kevin Downing entered the building with several guns hidden in a bag. He shot and killed security guard Idrissa Kamara and then killed himself. Downing was fired from the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics several years ago. The BLS has an office on the eighth floor of this building. We are at the very early stages of this investigation and are working to establish his motive for coming here. If he had an intended target beyond the security officer and what the motive was behind the crime. The security officer's employer, FJC Security Service, said in a statement, Kamara was scheduled to complete his day at 4 p.m., but agreed to stay on for extra duty. That speaks volumes about the person he was. As the situation full of fear and uncertainty unfolded, landlords in neighboring buildings made PA announcements, warning their tenants of possible danger. We were just told to stay in the, in the building. It was pretty scary. It was terrifying. Margaret Serrano says people near the entrance of 225 Varick ran for cover in the confusing moments after the gunfire. Everybody in the office was looking out the window. We weren't able to see anything. A family on the street actually ran into our office. At the Lenox Hill Healthplex, Kamara family members were distraught with grief and heartbreak after saying goodbye to the security guard, a father of four from the Ivory Coast. Think about him. You know, he's not here anymore with us. You know, we're praying for him right now, you know. So, okay. Could you tell me? Kamara's union, 32 BJSEIU, said in a statement, security officers around the city and country serve on the front line each and every day to keep us safe and secure. We are heartbroken that one of our own has fallen. Co-workers say Adrissa Kamara was a calm presence in a sun, sometimes stressful job. He was uh, described as a devoted family man. His own father died just a few months ago. Live in Soho, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. A real tragedy, Tony. Thank you.